How are you doing? Hi, Steve. Good. How are you? I am doing excellent. There was a cat on my lap and now he is gone. Oh, <laughs> he might appear again. <laughs> Honestly, you never know. Um, so I, I got a bunch of questions for you. Um, I'm going to start with what are you um, most, I mean, it's a little generic, but what are you most excited for people to see in the Hawkeye series that perhaps they haven't seen in a MCU show before? I think there's a different side of Clint that people haven't seen in any of the Avengers movies. I think that was the um, one of the reasons why I gravitated towards doing this particular project is showing a different side of him. Um, I remember when I was reading the comics version of Clint and Kate in the Fraction uh, run that I just love how funny um, he is and just there's there's this lighter tone and we wanted to preserve what we did with Clint in the last you know decade in the Avengers movie but wanted to bring that element into this particular series as well because you know the door is wide open in terms of his backstory because you know there's so much that we can explore um, so we thought the best person to do that would be Kate Bishop and create that dynamic that is so appealing that everybody you know loves so much so it's it's amazing because Jeremy is is so funny um and he was really game in terms of wanting to put clint in situations and um associate associate uh him with people that he normally wouldn't um you know be involved in and and what you get in the series is what you know what that is speaking of kate uh how aware were you guys behind the scenes of like the fan casting with Haley? Um, was that something that you guys were all aware of or were you looking at her on, on your own? I think we're always, you know, with any of the new roles that we have um, uh, uh, casting them, we're always throwing names in and talking about um, everybody to see who is, who is a great fit for the character. Um, I didn't tune in much in terms of um, how the fans were responding or reacting. It was really just, you know, trying to figure out who the best role is. And as soon as, you know, Haley walked in, we just knew that she, you know, she was the one she exuded all of the, you know, uh, uh, um, personality that I saw in Kate from the comics that I wanted to bring, you know, on screen. And, um, and I feel she absolutely, you know, killed it in, in the series. Oh, she's fantastic. And I mean, I know once people see the series, they're going to be like, oh, what else is she doing in the MCU? So I ask you, uh, do you guys have like, have you already figured out behind the scenes her like arc, if you will, and without like, I know you're not going to share it with me, but I'm just curious <laughs> if you guys have figured it out. Well, I can't say, you know, much about it. Uh, because I think our focus really is making sure that we land Kate right in the series. Like she has got to work um, in, in introducing her into the MCU for a potential future, right? Um, so I think the focus um, for, for the few years that I, I have on this particular project was making sure that, you know, Kate was going to come off um, in, in the way that we wanted her to and in a way that fits within the MCU and with Clint Barton. So that has been the focus and we'll see from there if, if you know, what the future holds. I like the evade, but yeah, you, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's mission accomplished, you know? Um, did you guys ever decide, uh, or did you ever discuss doing more or less than six episodes? Or how does that number sort of get figured out? Is it a budgetary thing? Is it like we're writing and we figured out we have six, it's like six story, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we, you know what? The great thing about um, uh, uh, doing these series is that there isn't really a set amount of episode um, that is put upon us. It's really trying to figure out the story, right? What is what the, the most important thing is let's lay out the groundworks with the story um, with these characters. And then, um, and then if it happens to be, you know, five or six or seven or, or, or nine, um, like some of the other episodes, I think six has normally or, or, or have been sort of the range um, that we're after, but there is flexibility in that. We're not, you know, required to say it absolutely has to be six episode. It, the most important thing is let's make sure that we tell the right story first. Well, I guess my question is, did it ever come close to being another number than six? 
we initially, um, when we were talking about the series, you know, the eight episodes floated around. Um, and then as we were, you know, continuing developing it, um, it sort of became six. Uh, how long do you think before, after fans see the first episode, people will start asking about the musical being a real thing? Uh, you mean like, how, how would I feel about that or how? No, no I just, I just like the song, the song and the sequence is so good. Yeah. I can like see fans being like, I'd go see that on Broadway. You I would I mean? too. <laughs> I'm hoping that this, <laughs> I, I look, I, I'm very excited for it as well too. It, it was a lot of fun and, um, and I hope fans, yeah, uh, reacts to it in a very positive way, just as how we all really enjoyed, um, you know, working with Mark and, and creating, um, uh, 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 that um, that musical to, to come to life. So we'll we'll see where it goes. Yeah, um, one of the things that I really enjoyed about the first two episodes is it's like Christmas time in the MCU. Um, can you sort of talk about being? I think it's the first MCU thing to really do something like this. So can you talk about how that came about and what it was like to make it? Well, we wanted to set this story apart from Falcon Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Loki that has come out and, and you know, any um, uh, future shows. Um, and one of the reasons is setting it in the holidays season. And out of all the characters, Clint Barton made the most sense because he is one of the few Avengers with family. Um, and after the fallout of Endgame, where he lost his family, uh, became Ronan, and then got his family back, he's still dealing with you know, the lost time. He's still deal he's still dealing with trying to figure out like how can he make up for all that and and which is why he is making a big deal about spending time uh during the holidays with them. And of course he gets stuck in a situation where, you know, he has to figure out how to get out of it in order to make it back in time for for the holidays. And the big question is, is he going to be able to do so? So um the holiday um element is really important, especially with Clint because he is, an, he is a family man and family, it's all about the holiday season. It's about spending time with uh, the family. So out of, you know, all the properties, this one felt like it was the most fitting for uh, um, something like this. And other than Iron Man 3, this will be the, you know, um, time that we're doing this. I got to stop there. I'm just going to say congrats. And I really can't wait to watch the rest of the series. Thank, Thank you. you for your time.